Hi everybody, Nate here from WASD20. I recently finished this map for Jim Davis from WebDM for his campaign, A Land Between Two Rivers. And I thought since it was kind of a smaller scale map, it would make a good one just to capture the whole process on video and speed it up to kind of show you guys what goes in to making a sellsword map. Let's get going. So a couple things I wanted to say here before we get going too far. First off, you notice I have some pencil lines on the paper. Uh, the pencil lines really don't show up well on camera. So I did uh, a few hours of work getting rough sketches and, and, and uh, working pretty hard on getting what I wanted in pencil. And what you see here is me now putting the ink down. Uh, I will also say that this is a very different style of map from what I normally do. It's a much more illustrative style. It's, it's a zoomed in look. Um, and Jim wanted it to have a very kind of in-world feel, like someone in his game world would have drawn this map. And before I just kind of let you all see the drawing and listen to the music and chill, I also want to recognize that this is a speed draw, but it, it's like 15 minutes. This is a lot longer than most speed draws you see on YouTube, uh, but I did speed it up about 2,000%. Uh, so. Uh, you are seeing several hours of work here compressed down into about 15 minutes. So uh, enjoy. I'll be interrupting only occasionally. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about anything you're seeing here down below.
yes, the structure that you see me drawing here is indeed a city or fort of some kind on spider-like legs. Um, so pretty cool, unique stuff in this world, very creative, and I'm going to have to refer you to WebDM in more detail, because I really don't know that much about it. Uh, but they stream this game every Thursday night, so definitely go check them out on Twitch, WebDM. I'll put links in the description below. And I'll obviously check out their YouTube channel, uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels around in terms of RPG stuff. Although I don't know that much about the world itself, I do know that it's a very dry and arid land, and that's really well reflected here on the map. There's very little by way of vegetation, and uh, the sea, the only sea down here is called the Poison Sea, so uh, yeah, not a very lush and verdant world. One particularly unique feature that you're going to see in a little while here is a uh, mushroom forest that you'll see in the canyon over in the west. Uh, so yeah, lots of really cool stuff. Now you're going to see me transitioning to Photoshop. So when I scan things into Photoshop, I just have a scanner that does 1200 dpi, I usually do 600 dpi, scan it in. You'll see me adding an aged parchment effect here and going about the process of shading using an overlay layer. This is my normal process for doing this. Uh, you'll see me doing some shading of the land and the mountains with this method as well. In this particular one, I didn't do any highlighting. I was keeping it pretty simple. Uh, he wanted a really simple map. So just one tone shading is all we get here. A lot of this I am doing with my Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. Uh, which was having some issues because of a recent Windows 10 update, but I worked through those and uh, it worked really well. Uh, this tablet has served me well for a couple years now, but I recently did purchase a Wacom Cintiq. I didn't use it at all on this map because I didn't have it yet, uh, but I'm absolutely loving the Cintiq. Really, really nice.
Unfortunately, the Compass Rose ended up being a huge time sink. I went with uh, this style that I'm working on now, and then ended up not liking the way it looks and scrapping it and going for a much more simplified kind of silhouette style. Uh, but I'll still show this process and you can see uh, what I originally came up with and eventually the end product. All right, it is about time to close this one out here, but I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, I didn't explain a whole lot here, so uh, I understand if you do. Tried to let my work just kind of speak for itself here and let you chill and watch. But if you have any questions, leave those down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed as well. And if you're interested in supporting WASD20, if you appreciate my work, check out my Patreon account. It's a great way that you can become a monthly supporter. Even a dollar a month can add up to make a big difference. So thanks all. Everyone take care. You'll see me again very soon.